Hello YouTube, St. Bob here of St. Bob's YouTube channel. Uh, this is going to be a quick tutorial on the brand new Quest feature that's just been implemented uh, today, uh, just after the wipe. Um, so I'm going to show you guys uh, and gals how to actually set up a Quest, uh, how to complete the Quest and how to hand it in and claim your reward for it. Um, so for the first thing that you should know is that uh, to actually sort uh, and create a quest you do need to be at the totem uh, right click on the quest you'll see the tribe info and the quests options there if you have been uh, looking at my videos over the past week or so uh, you've noticed that I did do a tribes feature tutorial which did explain what the tribe info was uh, and what the tribe totem was uh, and so on and so forth um, so if you have uh, watched that then you'll kind of know what I'm talking about here if you haven't don't worry about it you're probably better off going back looking at that video and then coming and uh, taking a look at this video next because this this will probably really follow on from that um, so assuming that you have seen that video let's move on to the quests tab here now so not the tribe info the quests tab let's left click on that and you'll see this window pops up now just for this moment in time, ignore where the, the quest in this box is says Bobber's Grass. Um, Wilbany uh, of the Regulators has created me a example quest so you, we can basically show you how to uh, complete a quest because once you've set a quest yourself, you can't complete your own quest. Um, so that's the reason why we've had to um, have one of the tribe members do it for me, Wilbany the tribe leader. So let's go ahead and look at the uh, tabs up here basically self-explanatory um, but I'll quickly go over it. Title is the title you give the quest so for example Bobber's Grass means my grass means you know that that's just the title the name of the quest itself so you could call it anything really. If you wanted to set a quest that was for logging it could be something like um, collect Saint Bob um, 10 long or short logs whichever you takes your fancy so you can do it like that you can set that title to anything that you want to um, you can give it a funny name or anything like that it doesn't have to be as as formal as that it could be could be anything like World of Warcraft you do have funny quest names things like that. you can set it to however you want to um, the next tab type is there's three types uh, there is col uh, collect, a hunt type, collect type and obviously the craft type. Basically what this means is this is the type of quest so if, you, it, if it's a collect quest then obviously it's to collect a number of certain items. If it's a hunt quest then it's to kill and retrieve certain animal body parts or you know leather, uh, meat, bones um you know animal anything really that's that's that comes from an animal uh things like that um and obviously craft is to craft an item and once you've crafted that item you hand it in and then you complete the quest uh status at the moment is free so that basically means that it's free for anybody to take uh free for anybody to hand in uh, and as we actually look through uh, creating a quest we'll actually see uh, what the different statuses are so we can have a look at that um, so what we'll do now then is uh, we'll ignore this this quest here for now until we come to it um, so let's just assume that we've got a blank page here and we're now going to create a new quest so let's click create quest and here we go you can see that this box opens now I put it over here so you can definitely see that there's separation there um, so let's go ahead and put a title in there title of the quest let's put this as put it St. Bob's Jobs there we go kinda rhymes ish and uh, let's click apply once you're happy with that and there you go the title now is changed to St. Bob's Jobs uh, the creator is St. Bob the status is new so it's quite it's brand new and no one's um, accepted it or anything like that uh, let's go ahead and put a description in now in this box so let's go and say there we go and let's have a look at the type now we've put a description in and we remember we've got three types here we've got collect so that's to collect two grass hunt to hunt an animal and animal part 
um, and craft. And that's obviously to craft an item. So let's just go with what the description says. St. Bob has asked you to collect two grass. So let's go with collect type. Um, and the next one on the list is goal, which is what is the goal? We want grass. Now, just to mention here that there is no other way of setting a goal. So you do have to type the exact goal as it's spelt in game. So if you want the goal or the objective to be grass, then you need to spell grass exactly how it is um, in the game. So let's just click on our resources tab here and open it up. And you can see now that it says grass there. Now, I don't know if it's um, cap sensitive or not, but I would just put capitals in there if it has it just to be on the safe side. Um, so let's put in the resources there. Grass, we've put in there. This goal is um, the actual grass. And let's click 2 for the quantity. And let's click apply. And there we go. You can see now that it's collect 2 grass. Now, just to also mention that if you are creating a collect quest for something that, uh, for example, like rocks or wood, there are different types of rocks and different types of wood. Um, now you do have to put the full name of the wood type, the wood breed, um, otherwise it just won't accept it. Um, you can't just put collect two long logs, that just won't do it, it has to be um, two long aspen logs or whatever the name is of that, you need to put the full name of the log, otherwise it just won't work. The same goes for rocks as well. If you put just two uh, two rock, then it's not going to work. You need to put into granite or to limestone or whatever uh, you, you decide you want you want uh, people to collect. So that's that. That's how to to set the goal, um, set the description, set the um, the title. Um, now time limit itself it doesn't seem to be working. So I'm guessing that's something that's going to be implemented at a later stage. Uh, I'm clicking on it forever and ever and ever and just nothing's happening at all. Right, what we now need to do is we actually need to set a reward for um, people co uh, actually completing the quest. What are they going to get if they complete this quest? Now this can be anything. If you're a tribe leader or you're somebody who has authority in a tribe, then I'm assuming you're going to have access to um, different vaults, different banks, things like that. So you're going to be able to put some decent things in there for your tribe. It might be tools, it might be other resources, it could be other items, it could just be anything. It doesn't really matter what it is, it's your choice. So let's just open up our backpack, my little basic backpack, and let's just say that the um, the reward is going to be a scrapper's wench. Probably pronounced that wrong, but that's how we pronounce it over here. Um, and uh, so there we go. We, we drag it and we drop it in there. Now you can have three uh, rewards. Now I'm just going to do the one because obviously I want to keep some of these things that are in my backpack. So we'll keep those there. Uh, but the reward at the moment for collecting Saint Bob two grass is a now a scrapper's wrench. Okay. Now what we do is we click create, and there we go. So now we can see. Let me just get rid of these boxes. Here we go. That we have Saint Bob's jobs. Now we can let me just close that again. Let me explain. What you need to do uh, to actually look at the quest description and look at the details of the of the quest is highlight it. Make sure it turns green. The one that's green is the one that's highlighted. Click View Quest. Now View Quest basically means you're looking at the quest. This is exactly everything that we wrote in it. Uh, there's no time limit because obviously it's not implemented yet. Tells you the title. Tells you the creator. Status is free, so it's free to take and it gives you the description as well. St. Bob has asked you to collect two grass. Um, the objective is collect two grass and the rewards is this. Um, so what I can't, as I said before, the reason we've created the other quest, Bobber's Grass by Wilbiny, is purely for the fact that, you, as you can see now, this, I can't complete it. I can't complete it. Even if I had the grass on me right now, I couldn't complete it. So that's why we've created another one. The creator can't complete their own quests. Um, so that's that's basically how you do that. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at actually completing one now. 
So let's click on Bobber's Grass, the one that will be created for me. Uh, let's look at uh, the details. So Bobber's Grass, Creator will be neat. Status is free, so it's free to take. I need one grass from Bob. Uh, for Bob, sorry. And collect one grass, no time limit reward. Oh, he's going to give me two uh, portions of bones there. So let's go and farm ourselves some grass very, very quickly. We're right here, so I don't need to go far. Okay, so since I'm new to the uh, tribe, they've not actually set me the uh, privileges of collecting grass. So I've gone and stole some from the uh, from the store just over there, the top of the uh, right corner of the uh, of the screen there. Um, so I'm just going to pop this in there and actually take the quest and do it. But obviously, you'll just be able to pick it up from the ground. So let's click on Bobber's grass. Uh, let's view the quest and let's uh, let's accept it. So we now have that accepted and we've got that as our quest. So let's now go into Bobber's Grass and click view quest again and you'll see this little box has popped up complete quest. What we do here is we can put this in there and it seems that the item count is not correct so you do need one uh, one grass if the, if the amount is one then you do need one grass um, so what we do need to do then is we do actually need to uh, get one grass put it in there and then press complete once you've done that and you've got one um, piece of grass complete in there then uh, you press complete and you'll get your reward and it'll be straight into your inventory and that's basically how it works um, bear in mind guys that when setting um, for items that are um, can only have a stack of four like metal uh, like scrap metal grass cloth leather plastic things like that that can only stack to a certain amount bear in mind that when you're setting your quantity on your quests you can only do it for that amount otherwise it won't work um, so for example if you wanted somebody to collect 20 pieces of grass it wouldn't allow you to it would automatically set the quantity to four um, just for just for reference guys really uh, that's that's kinda how it works um, so that's really everything you need to know at this moment in time with Quest. It's really, really simple. There's nothing too complicated with it at the moment. Um, but I just thought I'd do a very quick tutorial uh, just so you guys can see and um, and take a look at it, really. So thanks very much for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time. St. Bob, signing out.